follow if needed. We'll start with Jeff. Uh, first of all, congrats on the comeback win, Coach. My first question is for you. Um, first of all, what did Connecticut do differently than the fir- differently in the fir- than the first two times around? And in your opinion, what did you guys do differently to come back? And what can you most learn from a game like this? Oh, look, they played really aggressive. You know, obviously blowing up stuff. Um, you know, fighting over screens, making it hard for us. But you know, I think. Um, we looked like a team that had five days off. Oh, yeah, we did actually have five days off. So it took them a while to wake up, to be quite honest, because we were doing not executing much. It was, you know, okay, we're going to go compete or we're going down big because uh, this team is dangerous. Um, so, yeah, they're making it hard for us. But, you know, I love the, the poise and the resiliency of this group to come back and, and, and win against, obviously, a really, really good team on their home court. Appreciate that. And, uh, Brianna, for you, um, tonight was billed as a matchup between yourself and Alyssa Thomas. And it's safe to say both of you lived up to the hype. What can you say about your matchup with Alyssa? And what can you say? And what kind of a statement does it show from your team that you guys were able to uh, respond to an early deficit and come back and pull this off? Yeah, I mean, AT is obviously uh, a great player and um, a huge part of what the Sun do. And um, she continues to, you know, play the entire game, game, you know, most games, especially as of late. Um, and that's what her team looks at her to, to do. And um, we try to defend her, but she, she kind of got loose on us as the DB. But um, the way that we continue to fight, I think that's, that's what we're most proud of, the way that we came back. We were down 20. Yeah. And in, in the second half, um, and able to continue to fight through that and, and never stop. And um, some things went our way at the end, but um, I think whether we won or lost, we would have been happy with the way that we fought. Appreciate but much better when we win. Appreciate yeah. your time and sale for you. Stu, you guys were down big. I think it was the Washington game at home. Yeah. You went overtime, yeah. and you were saying at that point, it was like, hey, we can use these things later in the season. Is that sort of like this game you were down big and came back and found a way to win, and that's a sign of a good team that you can do that on the road? Yeah, and I think Sandy said it before, um, at halftime and probably throughout the second half. It's like we've been in this position before, whether we like it or not, and the way we continue to uh, fight through it. And, you know, until we, we kind of wake up and we're playing together on a string, um, we just need to make sure that defensively we, we do what we can to make it difficult for them and then uh, push the pace. So we were able to do that. And, and JJ, the second half you seem to dominate more inside and, and score both on the offensive end and control the, the rebounds. Just that a conservative effort, half time, hey, I got to be more established in the post in the second half. Yeah, most definitely playing aggressively and understanding that, that the team needed that for me. Um, and yeah, just, just doing that. In. Um, Sandy, was there a moment like in that fourth quarter where you kind of felt things start to shift for you guys, or what was it sort of like for you, Coach? Yeah, no, look, I thought, as you said, let's get single digits by the end of the third. I think it was 10. You know, they, they made some uh, some shots here and there. And um, I, I just like, we're finding our game again. You know, that wasn't, you know, it looked like a, you know, we're trying to wake up, you know, trying to find uh, how we want to play against a good team. We haven't played this team for a while, but uh, we just got doing the simple things, you know, just playing really tough, being in a position. They still scored some, but we still kept them, t- you know, what, 34 points. That's pretty good. Um, in any team there. So I just thought we had good pace. We're getting stops, we're rebounding, we weren't getting them second chance points and um, we're making it hard. Now DB was a thorn in my side tonight, but uh, uh, she was great, but we could have done a better job in, you know, in certain places, but um, you know, we, we face them again, again soon. Maybe. Stu, what have you learned about yourself since playing with the Liberty? Um, <laughs> um, I think that what I've learned about myself, I don't really know if I've learned it, but just continuing to kind of uh, remind myself to to play through everything, you know, no matter what happens. It's it's not about it's about it's not about stats and knowing that my impact on the court uh, matters, and you know, making sure that I was doing whatever I can to help the team rebound or uh, communicate. Um, you know, knowing that sometimes it's it's just a struggle but you have to stay with it because you never know when you're going to get a chance to, to kind of do what you do. I don't know. I don't even know if I answered that question. That was you good. Did. You did. That was good. That was good. Yeah, you did. You did. Bless. Oh, resilient little thing. Big, big. <laughs> Sandy, it felt like some stretches where Marine was in. She kind of changed the kind of complexion of the game, especially I think there was that 
one point and then there were the three guards and you guys started to kind of come back a little bit earlier on. What did you see from her today? Yeah, we put B at the four. Um, you know, because she's, you know, B's a scorer. She can do a lot of things from there. We thought it would complemented BG, uh, BG, geez, JJ, <laughs> wrong team, um, a little bit better in that regard. But that's, we went small. We wanted speed. We thought they're the ones that have played a little bit more regularly. We hadn't. We should have a little bit more, um, you know, energy in the reserves. And I was just telling them, just push, play quicker, play quicker. We're playing too slow and allowing them to, you know, put hands on us and be physical and take us out of what we wanted to do. And, and Marine's one of the best at that, I just the speed. And, you know, I know she got a charge, but, you know, just getting into the paint and moving the ball quickly, that's... And then trying to establish JJ down low. I mean, that was really the goal in the second half and it worked well. And, you know, we came away with a really good win. We'll go over to Zoom, starting with Jackie. Good evening, all. Congratulations on the win. I want to start with JJ. Um, how do you think your team out hustled the Sun? I mean, you've been a part of the Sun. They're still a team that prides itself on that. That was a culture that you were a part of. How do you think you all overcame that? I mean, I think we just stuck together, honestly. Um, I think we just we got a little bit tougher, like Sandy said, in terms of like getting over screens and. Um, less switching and trying to stay with our, our intended matchups. Um, and then, like, being proactive with our scrambles and understanding, like, where we needed to be, I think that was the biggest part of it. And then, obviously, getting on the glass. But um, ultimately, it was about us staying together and just chipping away at the game piece by piece. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, Stewie, for you, when the fourth quarter ended um, on in the way that it did, what went through your mind um, about – when it came to how you all were going to try to figure out how to get this one done. That we were exactly where we wanted to be. You know, we, we fought back from down 20, um, five minutes to, to kind of win the game and really realized that, you know, we, we could play with poise and composure instead of trying to dig ourselves out of a hole uh, and just do what we do. Thank you and congrats all. Miles. Hi, Sandy. John Quayle played fewer than 10 minutes in the first half, but was the dominant force after the break, battling nonstop for deep post position. So on a night where the outside shots just were not going down, how much of a luxury is it for you to be able to pivot the game and switch to playing through JJ in a way that we haven't seen all that frequently this season? Yeah, I mean, it was what we needed to do, you know. Um, it was, I thought that was the advantage. That's how we're going to exploit them. We didn't, we didn't, you know, do well enough in that first half. We were slow, we were clunk. they made us clunky and took us out of everything we wanted. So we made an emphasis like JJ and, you know, JJ did the rest there. I know I didn't play her much in that first half, um, but you know, she uh, took it on her to, to have a really great 25 minutes to finish. And that's, you know, we're here because, you know, these two really, but it's everyone like Sabrina as well, had a very poor first half as well. We just kind of told them to wake up you know, come on, this is not Liberty basketball. And we fought, we fought. And, and that, it's, this is why I'm so proud of them because there's no, we stay together. We're just going to find a way to win. Um, and if we didn't win tonight, like I said, should we said it, I would have been proud because we kept fighting. Thank you. And Brianna, huge offensive rebounds really helped to keep this comeback. There were 12 on the night. You had a really big put back in those final seconds before Courtney got that steal. How would you describe the never say die performance this team put forth after falling behind by 20 tonight, especially when you look at those effort plays that are that are just leaving it all on the court in those final seconds of regulation? Yeah, we we just didn't stop. And and that was it. You know, we would have played until um, the final horn and the final whistle. Um, and that's what we did, you know, knowing that we had to make plays and uh, all of us were, were able to, to be a, a huge part of that. Thank you both so much, all three of you. Sorry, JJ. No, you're good. <laughs> Karina? Hey, everyone. Congrats on the win. Uh, my first question is for you, Coach. To rally from 20 points down and execute down the stretch to force it to overtime, who would you say kind of stood out as a leader that kind of helped mobilize the group to stay active on both ends of the floor tonight? Yeah, I think Saluti. You know, she was in there. She was yelling at him, rebound the ball. I think we got one. they got one uh, just before. And, um, you know, and making the right passes out a bit. But I thought Sabrina had really good poise. She made the big three. And, 
Um, they all did, you know, just the offensive board, Slutty Steel. I mean, that all, we always keep believing, you know, we work on end of game stuff and some days it works, some days it doesn't. Today, you know, we found a way and, and Sabrina made a big shot and got an offensive board and it was just the pursuit. You got to just never, the game's not over until it's over. Absolutely. And then my second question is for either Stewie or JJ. You obviously, you don't want to win games from behind all the time, but what is it about games like this specifically that kind of helps you with the end of the season kind of wrapping up soon and the playoffs being around the corner? I think it just um, kind of proves what we've already known that we're a team that if we stay together, we can accomplish anything. Um, that some games is going to be games that are that are tough and some games sometimes we make it tough ourselves. Um, but um, it's about our poise. It's about um, being able to stay together as a team and, and understanding that we can get it done. We'll finish with Brian. Thank you all. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Um, JJ, my first question to you is, throughout the night, you were, you were able to start wearing down the sun on the interior. What did you think you were able to sort of figure out from Connecticut's defense as the game got deeper into the fourth quarter and into overtime? Uh, just like I said before, just having a post presence, um, being strong with the ball and uh, not overthinking it. If they send a double, getting the ball out. And um, whenever I had opportunities, just taking it strong to the hole. Thank you. And Sandy, um, after it looked like the Sun really on, were, were really on fire in the first half on offense, but the defense started to pick up a lot as the second half progressed. What did you think was the biggest sort of improvement from the first half to the second on the defensive end? We played harder. You know, as simple as that. You know, uh, they made so many threes, but they were all open. We weren't competing. We had no urgency. We weren't helping each other. We weren't uh, doing our the schemes that we had worked on, which we'd been so good at these last, uh, you know, few weeks here. And it was just, you know, just we know what we're capable of. So it's just, you know, after five days off, sometimes just needs to get it going. And they they were so aggressive. So it kind of took us out of rhythm a little bit. But, you know, we found it, found it back. So very happy about that. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. And Brianna, oh. in overtime, you were really able to set up. Oh, never. No, you go. Keep no, going. No, 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 you go. I'll, I'll talk to y'all on Saturday. No, it's okay. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Last one. Uh, okay. Um, Brianna, you were really able to sort of like pick up the baton in overtime. How did you think you were able to really, really exert your will on the connected defense in the OT session? Continue to be aggressive. Um, know that no matter what happened throughout the, the first 40 minutes of the game, that we still had five left and, and making sure that um, no matter what I was doing on the court, I was making an impact and staying confident. Thank you. Great.